Damn. Coming back in, I told you at the top of the hour, I would have a special friend of mine on the line, and I got Miss Jessica Rochelle on the line. What's up, hey. Jessica? No, nothing much. I'm your special friend. I should be your super special friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, whatever works, whatever works. What you yeah. up to? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, grinding as usual. Uh, just, just relocated. I was living in Jacksonville for a while, if you know what I mean. Constantly moving around, I'm, I'm a nomad. <laughs> ah, cool, cool. Get, get on your level. Uh, same old, same old here. Hey, uh, give my listeners a little information about you. Um, like they know you already, Jessica Rochelle, but they don't know who you are. They don't know any websites or MySpace pages or anything like that. Because listeners out there, especially the fellas, once you get a look at her, you're going to go crazy. Ooh, crazy. <laughs> okay, well, as uh, my good old friend Handy has said, um, I am Jessica Rochelle. Just to kind of tell you a little bit about me, uh, I was now five, two years. Uh, one thing that people don't know is I, I am a military veteran. Uh, a lot of times when I do interviews and stuff like that, people like to talk about that a little more. And, uh, you know, any questions you have about that, I'm glad to answer uh, let's see, the SBA nomination, yeah, I have to put that in there, too. Uh, I'm all, <laughs> of course, it's supposed to be out of the year, but next year, I definitely won't be. Uh, that's so much stuff going through 2010 now, just back and forth, you know, I told you I'm grinding real hard. Uh, you know, just talking back and forth, Handy, Handy's my, my, my dude. You're going to be at the cool retreat, right? Because they'll have that up next. Yeah, yeah, you know it, you know it. Man, so, it's going to be crazy. That postponed. I was kind of upset about that. I was looking forward to it until that, that hurricane came through. But. Yeah, it would have been much better in September with the warmer temperatures anyway. Yeah, it's cold. I don't know how it's cold up here in Virginia now, but I don't know how it is down your way now, but shoot. Oh, uh, well, actually, well, we got up to like 76 degrees here in Atlanta today. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're supposed to uh, be back in the 80s uh, by, by the weekend. But I, like I said, I don't know about South Carolina. You know, it's pretty much the same until, you know, the sun goes down. Well, the court miles are going to be there, so it's going to be hot anyway, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many how many years have you been a core model? I actually became a core model at the beginning of this year. So um, I've, I've known Tony Neal for a little bit over a year. We've just been, you know, talking back and forth about the whole uh, core, core DJ thing. Um, because on top of me being a model, I, I do a lot of media type work stuff, you know, as you already know. Right. I, I like, it's any anytime I can get on the radio, that, that's like lovely to me. So I try to do that as much as possible. Um, on top of that, you know, blog talk radio show, don't know how familiar the audience is with that, but I try to get on there as often as I can with uh, the feature host of pretty much, he's been the feature host for a month now, Anthony Bryce. Right. So I'm um, back and forth with him. He's another military vet, so... You know, we talk about entertainment stuff a, a lot of times. What's going on in the music world, um, modeling, of, of course. Uh, you know, going you know going on both sides of the fence there with it. Not too much staying on one end of it. So just constantly working. I mean, it's just like I live, eat, and breathe this every day. So cool, cool, cool. So the military vet. When did you ETS? And what branch was you in? I was in the United States Air Force and. You know, based on my pictures, um, if I didn't already tell my website, it's jessicarochelle.com, real simple, and uh, last, uh, the name is spelled R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E.com. Uh, I was actually a cop in the military. An MP? Yeah, I was an MP. Oh, um, did three tours, actually, in Iraq. You never would have, look at me, a lot of people, I get these little crazy messages all the time, like, yo, yo, ma, what's up, you know, you could, you could shoot me anytime. I'm like, stupid stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but, you know, uh... I mean, just Air Force, military, police, two two years ago in April made it two years that I separated the military. I mean, glad I served my time, glad it's over because it's, it's getting a little bit crazier now. You know, anytime there's an election in the process, it's, you know, a little hard okay. for military personnel over there. They don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to be good on their part or not. Hey, I, I understand it. I was I was in the military when the first Bush was in office. Oh yeah, and talk about let you go for pro Bob. I gotta say that and, and vote for me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give that uh, Southern. What is it? Southern Entertainment Award. Uh, Southern. Yeah, it's, it's Southern Ent Awards dot com, and the category that I'm actually nominated for is Foot Song Mile of the Year. Go figure. I've been doing this for two years. I actually was pushing promotions for last year to get on the 2008 ballot. I know you were on it last year. Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened. They just, you know, I 
no one really knew what was going on, but since then just, you know, told me, I didn't take, take it too personal, I just told me that I needed to work a little bit harder, get my face seen, and um, out a little bit more, like I am do stuff with Southern Serve, of course, Core DJs, again, gotta always shout them out, and if you haven't joined the network yet, it's CoreDJs.com, just be in the know of everything that's going on with our events and stuff like that, but um, also with Southern Serve, I do media stuff with them too, and like I said, just trying to just get more involved in, in, in things, not just on the mind, but just more, you know, what's going on in my community, too. Just getting get involved, Red Cross stuff, um, you know, because a lot of models, they don't, they don't do that. They get a little self-absorbed sometimes with right. just being in the spotlight, and they don't try to give back. And that's, that's one thing that I want to do is give back and definitely help out other models, like model development, too. Just Tyra Banks is someone that I really look up to when it comes to you know those type of things. So, oh yeah, I want to I want to keep you on the line. I don't want to. I'm sorry I had to interrupt you, but I got to go back to some music. But when we come back, I want to start back uh, just where you left off with the Tyra Banks. Is that okay? Yeah, that's completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> it better be a good song you're about to play next week. If not, we don't want to talk real bad about you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Never have that. Y'all keep it locked because I'm coming back yeah. with some more from Jessica Rocha. Hey yo, this one goes out to all the haters and all the lovers of life. We gon' boogie tonight, baby. Everything comes full circle in this industry, and the circles are big. 